Hey everybody, this is Clarence with TubeItems.com once again and today we're going to go over the low box and how I actually bricked it. So, let's get started. This is going to be a short video because I'm going to fly through a lot of the tools and actually how I got here. So, um, let's get started. Well, as you know, you see from my previous video about the low box, I purchased it not too long ago, about a month ago, and I decided I will upgrade the firmware. Move on to something like Megatron. And I tried this other one. Uh, anyway, when I tried to flash that, all you do is basically copy it to an SD card. Any SD card that you have, basically you copy the files onto this box using um, one of the tools you download and just copy the files on. And you stick this inside of the SD card slot here. And here is a whole AV slot. Take a pen, like I have a nail, and there's a reset button in there. Hold that reset button in and then plug the power in right there. Once you do that, what will happen is the system will automatically come up to the uh, Android screen and then you get the options to select upgrade. I can actually show you, I'll show you a picture of those screens as well later on. But when I walk through that upgrade, I selected the wrong firmware and it actually fried my, or brick, that's what we call brick, my system. Then I had to go out and try to figure out how to unbrick it because all up, all what will happen is the red light in the middle here will just come on no matter what I did. If I held the button down, tried to put all the, went online and found all these different, you know, scenarios on how to fix the machine and none of them worked. So anyway, I can show you exactly what I had to do in order to fix this machine. First of all, I had to remove the feet. Underneath the feet, you'll see screws. Once you remove all four screws, you can get to the motherboard. And what you need to do on the motherboard is actually short out some pins in order to get a laptop or your work your workstation see this as a device so what you're going to look for you're going to download an application that contains some drivers onto your system see the motherboards inside it's out show you the pins that you need to hold down. I don't know the numbers. Uh, so let's see if we can focus this a little bit. I actually put the pins right about right about there. So if you short out with a like this is a nail, but if you short this out with any piece of metal you can just tap. One of them will turn the light out. You'll know because the red as an LED on the board will go out. It's the next set down going in this direction. That direction. So once you hit the one that makes the light go out, keep moving down one, one increment at a time. You'll feel the little ridges of the pins just keep riding down. And you're going to have this plugged into the USB port of your computer using this port standalone port not the one with the three this will be the OTA so use this port um, and you do not need power when you do this once you plug in this into the USB port you're gonna walk down slowly hit those pins Oops, sorry. You're gonna walk down slowly hit those pins and when you get to the right one you'll hear Windows normally it sees a device it makes a noise and you'll see this device pop up on your screen at that point that's when you use the application which I'll show you later as a screenshot and you use that to flash a new image to this device and I, you have to hold the pin in place be very still or you can solder if you're good with solder and solder all I did was held my um, my pin I use this little doohickey here with the point I put, hold that in place it takes about three minutes to update and flash and once they are done you're good to go I'll put the images that you need to flash the tools that you need to flash all in the show notes. 
and put everything back together. All you want to do is do the same thing in reverse. Okay, first of all, what I'd like to let you know about the first website and the probably the only website you're going to need is this ChinaGadgetReviews.com. So this is this site has all the firmware that you're going to need. Um, the tools you can find links to tools, firmware, images. So be sure to check them out and give them mad support. All right. First of all, what we're going to do is I have the OTT TV box, as you know from the previous video. I'm going to download the latest Android KitKat 4.2 stock firmware. This is the firmware that's basically going to ship on most of these machines. It's stock vanilla. Um, it is rooted, just to let you know. Um, what you're going to download is this MXQ. 112k IMG. The key is the IMG file because we're going to need this so that we can use this to. Uh, we're going to use this file to flash. The zip file is used for pretty much SD card um, upgrading. So if your system is already booting fine and you're able to get into recovery mode and walk through the menus with the little green Android on the screen so that you can select the zip file or files, this is the one you need uh, to perform that upgrade or install. So we're going to come here to this page and download the files we need. And also, uh, in order to complete this, because like I said, my box was completely bricked and the SD card update or recovery would not work because I could not get into the recovery mode. What you're going to do is you're going to need a male USB to USB cable, male on both ends. Um, so what you're going to do is use not you don't want to use any of these three uh, ports. You want to use the port on this side. It's a single port. It's an OTA port. You want to use the port on where my arrow is, right here. My cursor is right here. You want to use that port. You can't see it in this picture, but it's there. Plug that in. You don't need to use the power. Plug it in, um, and that's pretty much it. You're gonna, you're gonna, uh, you're gonna have the circuit board in your hand at that point. It won't be in this case, but you're gonna use the single port USB port. All right. Once you have everything downloaded, you're gonna move over once again, and then you're gonna download this file from. China Gadgets Reviews website again. Download the AmLogic USB Burning Tool 2.0.4.3. Get this version. I had an older version and it didn't work for me. So download this version. Make sure you choose language and English. When you first install it, it's going to come up in Chinese. You probably won't understand it unless you can understand Mandarin. I mean, I understand uh, Chinese characters. Uh, but choose language, select edit, uh, English. The file that you downloaded previously, the .img file, choose file, and then install. Uh, select the file, load it into this interface. Then, from previously in the video where I showed you the pins that you need to short out on the motherboard on that chip on the board, you're going to do that now while it's connected. What you're going to do is hear. You're going to hear a sound. It's going to be just like you normally would hear when you plug in a USB drive uh, into your computer, and Right here under this device ID and status, it's going to say status connected, and some num and some words will be listed here, and you'll basically see that your device is selected. Then you're going to come over here, and choose erase. Uh, I'm sorry, you're going to choose uh, erase, force erase all. There's an option in this drop down that will be allowed for you to select. So just select and select force uh, erase all. Choose that option. And once you have everything selected and it says connection status, hit the start button and boom, wait three minutes and your box will be totally restored. Now, after that, everything is good. You'll reboot and you'll have everything set up. But if you would like to flash a new, um, a new, a nice uh, firmware after that, now that you know how to recover if your box gets bricked, you can go to megatron.tv uh, and download. These guys are awesome. I love this uh, the Megatron build. Come down, give them, uh, maybe donate to the website and talk for all the hard work that they do. But um, I want to let you know that I downloaded this version, download version 2 for clones for this machine, and it worked like a charm. All I did was downloaded the file, unloaded the zip onto a file, onto, a, uh, onto my SD card, plugged the SD card into my box into the slot uh, one of these sides here and then I put a pin inside of this port here it's listed AV stuck up uh, that little nail or you could use a toothpick or whatever you have sharp stick it inside of there and press the reset button and then plug the power in here and hold both of them in place so leave, make sure the power is plugged in and keep continue to hold 
the toothpick, toothpick inside of there if that's what you're using until you see the green um, Android recovery mode pop up on your screen walk through the menus walk choose your SD card and select the file that you downloaded here and that's it it will just start installing and, and it will reboot when it's done you just reboot when you're done and that's pretty much it you'll have Megatron so hope you enjoyed this video I uh, wish I had more on-screen um, videos of when I actually uh, ran the application here AM Logic's USB burning tool but um, there was no way I'd be able to hold the pens, hold the camera, and do everything at one time. But um, you should be able to walk your way through it. And if you get stuck and your phone and your um, device is bricked and you need help, just uh, put a note in the comment section below, and I'll be sure to get back with you. Thanks.